Hey Bonds, I found the missing molds video. So we're about to show you guys how I set up these molds for my candles. But before we get into that, you already know what to do. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon so you don't miss another video. Leave me some feedback in the comments of what you would like to see next. And of course, share this video with a fellow craft maker. Now let's get into it. So as is customary with almost any non scoopable candle, you want to make sure you have your hole set up where you want it, where you want the wick to come out of. And then you want to put your wick through it. Make sure you have the bottom of your wick um, through a ice, uh, ice cream stick so that it keeps your wick steady and in the middle or as close to the middle as possible. Then you're going to just set this up on the table and get ready for the next part, which you're going to need tape for. So any tape will do, but at the time all I had was this uh, scotch tape, this duct scotch tape, whatever. So I ripped it up into small pieces and what you're going to do with this tape is um, put the cut pieces together as if it was a puzzle and tape to make sure that it stays together. Not too tight, not too loose. You want it tight enough that you basically can barely see the cut line, but not so tight that the mold is caving in on itself. You're going to um, tape as many times as you need. For me in these bodies, I normally only needed two tapes going vertically, I mean horizontally, sorry. Um, one at the top where the butt is and then one um, at the bottom near the shoulders. For your last piece of tape, you want this piece to be just a little bit longer than the last two pieces, and you're going to line it up vertically with the cut line that you made for the mold. So you want it to be basically um, anywhere where there's a curve going in for the back in this case, because you know this is a body mold. So you see how it's an arch in the back. You definitely want that tape pressed up against that part and um, in between the legs so that when you pour the wax, it does not spill as much. So this is just me um, doing it one more time for you guys just a little bit faster and I did want to say that this is not going to completely stop the wax from spilling but it's going to prevent all of it or at least most of it from spilling which is um, as good as it gets I guess and then you can just reuse the mold um, the wax remelt it the one that has spilled out of the mold and pour it again. Some people use twine and other things to uh, get their mold to come together, but for me it just seemed too hard so I felt like tape was easier and that's what I used. This was just my method. If you find something that works best for you then that is fine as long as it keeps the mold together so that your candle comes out looking well put and not discombobulated. Thank you guys so much for watching if you want to see how these candles normally come out i did post a video um previous to this one 
please stay tuned for more videos and I will see you guys next time. Later!